and welcome to the Ministry of Magical Unboxings. My name is Stephanie, and this here is my third and final familiar, Dottie. She is a Gryffindor, and I am a Slytherin. Thanks for stopping by our channel, and please don't forget to subscribe and tap that notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I post a new video. Leave your comments below so I can kind of know what you guys think of the videos and maybe what your favorite item is out of the box. Okay, so we are unboxing the June 2019 High Street Owl Post box. This box was gifted to me for my completely honest opinion, so let's get started. On top here, we have Ollivander's Wand Guide. It's okay, it's like an actual wand guide. It says how to use and care for your wand. Wand don'ts, your wand and the law, stolen wand, things such as that. And it has, it's like a little pamphlet. I think that this is really, really neat. And I absolutely adore it. And I will definitely be putting it with my wand collection. Open this way. Oh, go bye. Okay, go bye. We have Shred in the Box, which is customized to my house Slytherin, which is very nice because I always appreciate thought put into my box. Oh, that's kind of, okay. We have a cup here, and in the cup we have Elop's Owl Emporium. Quality treats for your feathered friend. So this is a little display bottle. And I think that it is absolutely ingenious because I have never really seen anything like for our owls before. Kind of like the same way that in the April box I hadn't really seen anything for peas before until then. Which was really, really cool. So High Street Owl Post kind of has like... For me, they have like a reputation of constantly having items in their box that I have never seen before, which is amazing because it constantly leaves me on my toes and kind of in suspense of what might be in my box next. So then the little cup that was holding the owl treats. Says Weasley's Wizard Wheezes, 93 Diagon Alley, London. This is our color here. Um, I like this because you don't really see many cups. Like, I've received a few mugs for sure, uh, but you don't really ever have cups for cold drinks specifically for it. You usually just get a mug or like a tumbler or something. So this is, it's refreshing to have something that isn't a mug. Um, and also, this and honestly, the owl treats, the wand guide, it all seems like stuff that would be gotten from a trip to Diagon Alley. So I think that's going to be the theme of this box. It seems really, really cool, and I'm super excited to pull out the rest of this. And part of the reason why I'm unboxing this box with this was because this t shirt is from my last High Street Owl Post box, May 2019. And it is representative of Bill Weasley because the theme of that box was the Weasleys and he works at Gringotts. So next in our box here we have Florian Fortescue's Ice Cream, finest quality. That is our label on that. And this looks, this is a candle which I'm super excited. So based off of my last two High Street Owl Post boxes, I have actually really looked forward to the fact that uh, a candle comes in each one of them. And it excites me because each and every candle that I have gotten has smelt absolutely wonderful. Like this one, it says it is Florian Fortescue's ice cream. So it kind of smells like that, um, that birthday cake ice cream that you can get in the store. It's an amazing scent. And it's a very generously sized candle, 6 ounces. It is 100% 
vegan. It's a soy candle, so that's always appreciated. No testing on animals. It's a good thing. It's just a wonderful candle, and I cannot wait to light it. Okay, this next item in our box says Madame Primpernel's Beautifying Potion. Oat and Honey Lotion. Uh, gets rid of warts and worse. That sounds appreciated, isn't it? So, let's take a sniff here. It has that very nice oat and honey scent, but it also has like maybe a musky vanilla scent with it and a bit of floral. Like it's a really nice light scent that isn't overpowering. Like this is a lotion that I think would be okay if you put a decent amount on and you wouldn't smell overpowering with it, which is always appreciated. This here is Exploding Bonbons. It's a real boom. <laughs> and, let's see. Hmm. Okay. Two little purple balls. They are actual little bonbons. They're adorable. Oh, and they smell so fruity. That's what our little bonbon looks like there. It has a wonderful fruity smell. I'm going to have to try these in another video. You'll have to tune back and see how they actually taste. Oh, okay. And here we have Rosalie Tea Bag, Diagon Alley London, Sweet Cherry Rose Tea. I always get very excited for the teas because I actually I tried the last one with my aunt and for the one from the April box and it was probably like the best vanilla Earl Grey tea I have ever had. It was absolutely wonderful and so now I have high expectations for this one, Sweet Cherry Rose, uh, which is a really interesting um, flavor actually. It has cherries, elderberries, rose hips, hibiscus, cranberries, blackberries, raspberries, and cherry flavor in it. Uh, it's caffeine free, brewing instructions on the pouch. So I am super super excited to try this one with my aunt as well. Hopefully she likes it. Okay, this says the Bank of Gringotts. This is what it looks like. And, oh, it matches my shirt. There we go. Look at that. Okay. And inside, oh, it has like a little Gringotts check. Oh, that's adorable. Okay, do you see that there? That is like the best. This, okay, this is obviously then a checkbook cover, which is so cool. That has never been in a box that I've ever received. Uh, it's a really nice vinyl, so it's probably going to last you a long time if you do decide to put it on your checkbook. Um, wow, I'm just really surprised by this because not many boxes have, like, I mean, like, this would be, like, equivalent to kind of getting maybe, like, a small little, like, wallet, like, card holder or something, you know? Boxes don't really put that in there, so this is awesome. Like, you get really unconventional Harry Potter-themed items in here, which is always appreciated like a lot <laughs> in our box we now have a little box a little box in a box and in our little box we have it is a tea infuser with a really long chain actually I have not seen one this long before on a tea infuser and a very nice detailed little like pendant here, sorry, Slytherin, here we go, which is in my house colors, Slytherin, and it's a very large ball for the tea infuser. It's a really decent size, which is uh, really good because then it lets the tea expand and kind of have room to move in the cup when it's steeping, so ooh, it's nice and easy to open. I really like this infuser. I might try my 
sweet cherry rose tea in my new infuser, which is going to be super exciting. And it looks like the last thing in our box is another t-shirt. That is another thing that I really appreciate about this box. It always has a t-shirt in it. At least so far what I've seen, it always has a t-shirt in it, which is um, super exciting and awesome because I love t-shirts for one. Okay, this says the Leaky Cauldron. So this box definitely overall was like a Diagon Alley themed box, which was super cool because I have not seen a box themed for Diagon Alley specifically. Like I've seen like Honey Dukes or, you know, something like that, like very specific, but not Diagon Alley as a whole. So that's awesome. And this shirt is, it's a really nice shirt. It's actually very soft and there's a very attractive like design on it. It's not too busy or overpowering or anything. I'm super excited to wear this. Probably in my next video for High Street Owl Post, so keep an eye out for that one next month. Another thing that I appreciate about the t-shirts is not just that there's a very unique design, uh, because I've never seen this before at all. These shirts are not mass produced, but also that the design is never either like masculine or feminine. Like anyone can really wear this t-shirt. It doesn't matter what gender or anything else like that because it is in unisex sizes which is always a plus because then it makes things so much easier. But I definitely adore that I get a t-shirt in every single box and I always look forward to it and I always like to wear them in my next video. So, okay, last thing in our box here is Diagon Alley list of purchases and prices. So this is pretty much a little receipt from Diagon Alley which is awesome. Um, okay, it says Leaky Cauldron t-shirt, candle, you know, and it lists everything, and how many galleons, sickles, and nuts each thing is. And then at the bottom it says, funds have been withdrawn from your Dream Guts Vault number 824. We hope you enjoyed your visit to Diagon Alley. I adore how much thought was put into this. It definitely makes it feel like my shopping at Diagon Alley has been sent to me here at home. So that is absolutely awesome. And let's actually do kind of a price evaluation of everything. So let's start with the wand guy here. Um, because of its quality and like actual thought put into it and everything, I would say that this is probably about a $5 value for this item. Um, I thoroughly enjoy it and definitely will use this. The Owl Treats are probably about a $4 value um, because it is just another small decoration item but the bottle is glass so that kind of makes it a little bit more on the expensive side. The cup is probably about a $5 value because it is not going to be a cup that is mass produced. I'm pretty positive that you can only get it in this box. so. Also, it is a okay. It is a color changing cup, which is awesome. So when I do my tasting of the bonbons, I will do the color change for you guys and see like what turns it, like if it's hot or cold or anything like that. So that will be super fun. Anyway, five dollar value, really awesome cup. The candle, which makes me crave birthday cake ice cream. good okay this candle is probably about a ten dollar value because candles tend to be pretty pricey and this is also a vegan candle six ounces which is a pretty good size so I'd say definitely a ten dollar value for the candle the lotion which is Madame Primpernel's beautifying potions is probably about a six dollar value because it is you know a decent size and when you think of like Bath and Body Works it tends to be pretty pricey there, so I would definitely value this at about $6. The tea, which is an herbal tea, is probably going to be about $7 because by the look of the pouch, there's about an ounce, maybe two ounces in here. So this is going to be approximately 7 as that's what most teas run. The exploding bonbons are probably going to be about a $3 value 
because there are two of them in here and that is approximately what little chocolates or candies like this would cost in a store especially because they are also Harry Potter themed. The Bank of Green Guts checkbook cover is probably about a six dollar value because it is made out of a really nice vinyl type of material and will probably last a while and you don't really see many checkbook covers around so definitely about a six dollar value. The house themed tea infuser Tea infusers tend to be pretty pricey, and because this one has a longer chain and a very nice large ball for the tea to expand, this is probably going to be about um, a $10 value for this tea infuser, which is honestly a very nice tea infuser, and I'm so excited to use it with my tea. Finally, the t-shirt here is probably between $20 and $25. We'll do $25 for my estimate because it's a really nice soft fabric and unisex sizes and then also a nice unisex design. So we're going to put it about $25 and that would bring our box total to the $1 if I've done all my addition correctly. Yes, okay. So $81 for a $45 box, which is what the High Street Owl Post box is normally, is a really good value. Uh, so I definitely highly encourage you to follow the link I'm going to pop down in the description and visit High Street Owl Post and order yourself a box because they are absolutely amazing boxes. And before I go, let's actually do a whole evaluation of the box overall. So the box itself presentation the concept of the box I would give five out of five possible house points to Slytherin and then the contents of the box you know the quality and the uniqueness and everything of it I would definitely also give five out of five possible house points to Slytherin so thank you so much for watching my video today and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and then tap the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I post a video. Leave your comments down below and please tell me what your favorite item out of this box was. Also, don't forget to follow the link in the description below to High Street Owl Post to order yourself a box. And then here at the end, I'm going to be attaching a couple videos so that maybe if you missed my other High Street Owl Post unboxings, you can go and follow the link to that here in these little boxes popping up and watch those if you missed it. I should have April and May up there and maybe some magical unboxings too. So thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button while you're there and see you next time. Bye!